Meet LaShawn and Andriana. At first I thought these two, or at least one of them, was the answer to a prayer from one of our newer Twitter trolls, James Gurnalist. He sent me a very indignant tweet reminding me that if I cared about kids being killed, then their kala wouldn't matter to me. Looks like good old Colin only cares about white kids being killed. So I thought, okay, let me just find a black person that got killed and we'll cry some fake crocodile tears and maybe James Gurnalist, the dude with the fake name and a fake picture, maybe he'll come in and uh, give us all sorts of praise. Isn't that what conservatives are always doing? We're always, we're always trying to get the approval. People at the New York Times, Newsweek, uh, Washington Post, ABC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC, NPR. We never get it. Why is that? We never get it unless we stop being conservative. Then we get it heaped upon us like ice cream at a birthday party. Anyway, let me get back to the story because it had kind of a weird twist in it. Why don't we? Why don't we just look at the initial story? and see what we can learn about the uh, the blood on the ground and the 17-year-old woman who was killed and another one was in custody. Okay, spoiler alert. The one that is killed is Andriana, the first woman we met there. Stems are found on opposite sides of the city overnight. Police arrived to find a 17-year-old woman dead near 16th and Atkinson. About 15 minutes after that, the other shooting victim taken into custody near 12th and National on the south side. Derricka Williams explains the connection in the case. Just feet from a church and in the midst of a residential street. I heard uh, about, seemed like about five shots. The sound of bullets flying were followed by sirens wailing. The place was loaded with uh, officers, you know. They got here so fast. This north side neighborhood near 16th and Atkinson turned into a crime scene Saturday night. Look out the window and you see blood on the ground. It's real, it's not good. And moments later, police followed up on a similar incident near 12th and National. Approximately 10 minutes after that call, we also received a, another call uh, of a second victim. Uh, who was a 30-year-old victim, also the victim of a gunshot. She received a non-fatal uh, uh, gunshot wound, and she will be taken into custody. Police believe the incidents are related. While they investigate the connection and motives, residents also question why gunfire had to erupt. People are losing their lives too soon for no good reason at all. There's got to be something done about this. One dead and one wounded, but the tragedy affects countless others. That's terrible, and I really, I'm praying for them and their families. It's time for a change, though, so, I mean, we got we to do better. So, Andriana didn't make it out of that robbery. And, uh, you know, so, just again, just in the spirit of getting to know Andriana a little better, why don't we, um, why don't we go to her GoFundMe page and we can learn a little about her. Everyone, this GoFundMe account was created to help take care of our beloved Andriana Manny funeral expenses. Andriana was a very loving and outgoing young lady that was loved by all who knew her. She was a very active and spontaneous teenager who didn't mind telling you what was on her mind. I'm wagging my finger now. With a little attitude, her smile was memorable and her presence will be missed always. Andriana was taken from us such an early age and her legacy will live on through her family and friends. All donations are greatly appreciated and our th family thanks you for all your help in this difficult time. Wow. Well, you want to learn what really happened? So here's what really happened. So this dude, LaShawn, LaShawn Gates, Using the reading skills honed in Milwaukee public schools, he went to an app called Let Go, and he found somebody selling an Apple Watch and an Apple computer. So LaShawn calls the woman up, a 30-year-old woman. I don't know if she was white or black, but they met in North Milwaukee, which is a black part of town, so I don't know if she drove over there or what. Anyway, so LaShawn says, yeah, okay, here, I want to buy your thing for a bunch of money. Just come here, and I, if you don't feel comfortable with me, I'll send my girlfriend Andriana over and she'll do the deal. So Andriana gets in the car, pulls out a gun and says, give me that whatchamacallit. They struggle. Andriana gets out of the car, starts shooting the chick in the car, the victim in the car. Please, sir. 
I want some more. This person in the car, though, is not a victim. She has her own concealed carry permit. She pulls her gun out and fills Andriana full of lead. The 17-year-old Andriana full of lead, and Andriana is dead. And they got her boyfriend, LaShawn. They're charging him with murder because he's the one, he's the mastermind who set it up. Oh, by the way, he just did this like two months ago. He got caught doing this two months ago. He's already out on bail. And before that, he had another history of robbery and throw in some uh, soliciting a child for prostitution or some crazy thing. And the, and the question is, what is this dude even doing out on the street? Nobody has an answer for that. But, uh, but the only, well, let me rephrase that. The only people who have an answer for that are the people who are well-versed in the art and science of criminal justice reform. Oh, yeah, way too many black people in jail, in prison, for no reason whatsoever. People like LaShawn. And now Andriana is dead. Her family wants us to give her money for her funeral. After one month of being up there, she's raised $25. Life in Milwaukee goes on. Whatever that town used to be, it is now a dark and dirty and dangerous city filled with cops. Not cops, filled with people who run the police department and city officials and city councilmen and mayors who are totally down with the cause of black victimization, white racism. We see them talk about it every day. It's hard to forget the riots they had in Milwaukee a couple years ago. All the fellas trying to burn down Milwaukee because one of the cops was chasing a lawbreaker. The cop didn't obviously didn't know the crime is the new black entitlement in Milwaukee. That's why you're allowed to set up a GoFundMe page for somebody who gets killed during the commission of a robbery. Crime is the new black entitlement. They should have put that on their GoFundMe page. It wouldn't have made any black kids angry. <laughs> 